Okay, well, uh, we have another stock on our radar right now and I do request you to listen in, Devin. Granules is the first corporate that we're speaking to on the show. There have been a lot of reports about a stake sale, a buzz doing the rounds for a while, reports that PI Industries is looking to buy out or promote a stake in Granules. And in more news, the company has also approved a buyback of up to 250 crores at 400 rupees a share. To discuss all this and more, Priyanka Chigurupati, the Executive Director at Granules Pharmaceuticals is with us. Priyanka, I think uh, every time you join in, this is the first question we ask you, but I'm going to ask it nevertheless. Um, you know, as they say, there's no smoke without fire, right? At some point in time, is a stake sale coming? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is not even something that we're thinking about right now. I'm not sure why there's so much uh, fire continuously and why there's so much discussion on this topic. I just want to deny it over and over again because there's really nothing happening right now. So there's nothing brewing with PI Industries at the moment? No talks? Nothing Absolutely at all? not. Absolutely not. At the moment, Priyanka, or uh, forever? <laughs> Well, we never know forever, but I don't even see this happening. And as a promoter, as somebody involved with the promoters, I don't sure. think this is, this is not happening at all. I think that's pretty clear uh, then now that uh, nothing nothing at all at uh, this point. Or, I mean, uh, as you say, can never say never, but uh, it's, it's a no. Uh, so uh, tell us about the buyback then. Uh, 250 crores in size, uh, 400 rupees per share. Uh, what, what uh, I mean... What will uh, promoters take go up to? Uh, could you give us some sense uh, uh, around this? Some guidance around this? To, yeah. I will have to get back on the exact promoter's take uh, details, but I do uh, expect this to be fully subscribed and we should have this over the next uh, couple of days. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can you give us some guidance on how uh, growth is shaping up for you? You had said that a 20% compounded growth is what you're looking at on the revenue front. Uh, in Q1, that's what you had said, but do you hold on to that and what could the growth triggers be? The numbers will still, we hold on to the numbers. Uh, we are performing uh, better than we expected. Um, our prices, I mean, the costs in the market for most of our key products have seen a sense of stability and uh, we do expect our overall revenue and profitability to go up. Okay. Priyanka, good morning. A couple of balance sheet related questions. Uh, what's the outlook on your net debt and in terms of cash flows uh, where you had uh, you know, previously suggested that uh, you know, you're know, looking to improve that? Uh, a word on both these, uh, uh, you know, both these uh, parts. Sure. The cash flow, I think, will continue to remain a focus. Uh, we have seen an increase in focus. You've seen the numbers increase over the last couple of quarters, which is why we're also doing uh, the buyback at the moment. So ultimately, the focus has been and will continue to remain on uh, positive cash flow. And on debt, uh, 613 crores, I think, is the debt on your books. Any plans to reduce it? it? It will go down for sure, but I don't see this to be too much of an issue because our finance costs are pre pretty reasonably low. And you know, this, a lot of it has to do with working capital primarily in all our markets, where, uh, especially the U.S., where working capital requirements are quite high. And of course, you've seen... Um, an increase in working capital also because of uh, an increase in stocks that helped us perform much better in the U.S. market, which is our biggest market over the last couple of years. So I don't think, um, while focusing on net debt is certainly very important for us, I'm not too concerned about that because it's only facilitating growth for us as a company. Mm. Uh, just to clarify, you're saying that, I'm just coming back to the first question, right? You're saying that at the moment there are no discussions as well with PI Industries, not for a complete exit, we're not talking about that, but some sort of a partial stake sale. Not, this is, sorry to cut you off, but this is, again, we keep waking up and hearing all these rumors and I actually called the chairman, I was like, oh, I didn't hear we're doing this. It, it was a joke, it really was a joke um, that was running in our family. Okay, fair enough. Um, just wanted to ask you about the supply issues that you were facing in one of the inputs for paracetamol as well. Uh, has that issue been ironed out? Uh, supply has definitely improved significantly. Uh, costs have seen a decrease, and we should, but they haven't reached the level they were at pre-COVID. But we uh, we have seen a lot of stability and an increase in supplies, and we will see that to be a very positive thing for us going forward uh, with uh, maintenance of prices, etc. Uh, I think uh, at the end of the first quarter, Priyanka, you said that uh, for paracetamol, uh, the selling prices will also come down sharply. Has that happened? 
Uh, the selling prices will come down, not sharply, but they certainly will come down to make sure that we pass on the increase in, um, uh, sorry, the decrease in costs, just like how we have said that we will be passing on an increase in costs whenever that happens. But again, as always, there is a time lag between the decrease or increase in costs versus when we see that in the pricing activity. Mm. Could you, could you, is it possible at all to kind of uh, talk about the selling price and some guidance on how you see this evolve, pricing basically? I can't uh, really give an overall guidance. That's primarily because every customer is different, every market is different. But all I will say is that uh, we've emerged stronger as a player, especially for most, actually all our molecules, mm. because of our ability to supply over even such difficult times during COVID. Priyanka, thanks a lot for joining us uh, and uh, thanks for clarifying uh, uh, once again <laughs> those, uh, those uh, rumors and the market buzz. Thank uh, you.